Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. We have, woo, some big stories today. Three big ones in particular, with sort of a fourth topic thrown in. I'm really excited about today's Prime news. I hope you are as well. I got the suit on today because it's it, 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 it's business as usual, and uh, we got something we really need to discuss here. So before we jump into this, I want to remind you, we are on our road to 80,000 subscribers. You know, I would really appreciate if you would just hit that like and subscribe. We have a brand new giveaway happening at 80K as well. I've talked about it in prior videos, so uh, if you want to find out what it is, I guess go watch those. I don't really want to take too much of your time. So instead, let's hop right into our first story. And you guys have probably seen the news, but there's so much of it, I want to sort of encapsulate it here in this one topic, and that is because Nintendo has dropped... Bayonetta 3 release date and brand new trailer today along with a bunch of information. So the trailer as you're seeing right now looks absolutely incredible, shows an additional playable character. So that's really cool, a new playable female character. Uh, it, it The trailer actually gave me a little bit of an odd feeling. I'll, I'll get to that in a moment because the trailer is a release date trailer. So the release date is October 28th. So this is actually pairing up really nicely with Sparks of Hope and then the billion third party games dropping on Switch in October. So yeah, October's a really packed month. But beyond all of that, the trailer gave me this weird vibe Vibe because Bayonetta's always been, well, very sexually confident as a character in terms of her look, in terms of her presentation, and in terms of her personality. And we saw a little bit less of that in this trailer because Bayonetta always stayed completely clothed no matter what the attacks are. And if you guys know from previous Bayonetta games, her hair uh, is basically what her clothing is that she uses her hairs for her attacks so when she's doing attacks her clothing would basically vanish leaving her you know almost nude not necessarily completely nude I mean she is but she's still covered up by little bits of her hair but you didn't see that in this trailer. Well, that is because they are adding a naive angel mode uh, which allows you to basically turn on and off the risque nature of Bayonetta. So essentially Hey, if uh, you play it and it makes you feel uncomfortable, you can turn it off. I guess that's kind of cool. Options are always great. I think a majority of people are just going to play Bayonetta the way it was intended to be played, but that's because we've already seen this for two straight games. But hey, it is cool that they give you the ability to turn it off if it is something that's making you feel a little bit less compelled to play the game because of it. That's all right. You could turn it off and Bayonetta will stay fully clothed the entire game. Now... That being said, there's a lot of other things happening here as well. They announced the Trinity Masquerade Edition, which includes a 200-page art book and three swappable game covers, so you can like take out the cover inside your Switch cartridge and put in you know other ones. I think that's really neat and interesting. They didn't announce pricing on it. Technically, it was only officially unveiled in Japan and the UK. However, you can't pre-order it yet. But in clarification in talking to Nintendo, they have told me through email that they are going to be releasing it in the United States and that pre-order information will be available at a later date. I do have some concerns, of course, of how Nintendo is going to handle these pre-orders. We've seen with special editions in the past, such as Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Special Edition, that, hey, they would only make it available through the My Nintendo Store, the website would crash, and then even when they implemented the queue system bringing it back, there's many of you that still do not have it, and yet there's hundreds of available Verified pre-orders for purchase on eBay from scalpers. I don't like when things are only available through a single provider. I've never liked that. I've not, I don't like that Valve's doing it with Steam Deck. I don't like that Nintendo did it with Xenoblade Chronicles 3. And I obviously do not like that this is probably what's going to happen with Bayonetta 3 as well. Maybe I'm wrong and maybe they'll let me actually walk into a local Walmart or GameStop or something and actually lay down a pre-order. But for right now, uh, I'm just presuming that's what it's going to be. Pricing's not available for that version of the game yet. Now, they do have the actual physical game available to pre-order right now. You can pre-order it at Best Buy or Amazon. I will have uh, affiliate link codes down in the description. Obviously, if you get it from Best Buy, we get a higher percentage. But hey, you know what? I appreciate you guys even using our links at all. If you would like to pre-order Bayonetta 3, I know I'm slapping down a pre-order today myself. So I'm really excited for Bayonetta 3. Oh, but the Bayonetta news isn't actually done there because what was really surprising in this drop wasn't just that they did it on social media and all that. Nintendo actually just did this yesterday with that new Kirby game. It's that they also dropped that they will be releasing a physical version of the original Bayonetta. So Bayonetta 1, which does not have a physical version on Switch, is now going to have a physical version. It's only going to cost $29.99, and they're releasing it on September 30th. That's great, 
I do want to note though, they did say this will be a limited run of the physical version. So essentially, I think you'll be able to get it September through the holidays, and then that's it. I don't think Nintendo plans to keep printing Bayonetta 1 into 2023. So if you really want that physical copy of Bayonetta 1, you're going to want to get it now. If I can find pre-order links, I will include those down in the description as well, because again, this is going to be a limited run. Nintendo's warning us now, this game physically is not going to be sticking around Bayonetta 1. So uh, if you would like to get that for Switch as well, well, I guess look forward to September 30th. Yesterday, we talked about a Bandai Namco hack. Essentially, that this group had hacked Bandai Namco and is trying to claim ransom for them, ransoming uh, private information for millions of dollars and all that. We don't know the exact details because at the time, Bandai Namco hadn't even confirmed the hack was real. And some people actually yesterday were in the comment section being like, oh, this is just speculation. Well, speculation or not, Bandai Namco has come out today and confirmed the hack is real. They have confirmed that Bandai Namco has been hacked, and they are currently assessing the scope of the damages from the hack, and that is it, and that they will have a future update on this down the line. So next week or so, there'll, there'll be something officially coming out from Bandai Namco explaining the scope of the hack, what was compromised, and what Bandai Namco's actions are going to be. I presume they're not going to be paying the ransom. A lot of times these hack ransoms are not actually paid and the information just gets released. This is what's happened with a few other things. We have like Nintendo private emails during the Giga Leak getting leaked out there. So companies don't like to pay millions of dollars in ransom for somebody who broke the law uh, to hack their company. In fact, they just like to pursue legal action and try to get those people in jail. Nintendo actually successfully did that with the Giga Leak. Uh, we'll see if Bandai Namco can be successful. This hacking group has actually hacked other companies as well and has yet to be caught so uh, they are wanted and have already broken the law several times uh, by the way there is a leak out there supposedly from the hack that's suggesting future games and content coming from Bandai Namco I just want to note that if you see anything about that yesterday or today uh, that none of that's true that's all been debunked nothing from the Bandai Namco hack at the time of recording this video and likely at the time of publication has actually been released. The hacking group has come up themselves to state they have not released any of the information from the hack at this time. So if you're seeing that floating out there, that was just people trying to take advantage of the fact that it's known now that Bandai Namco was hacked, so let's get our 15 minutes of fame and just make up a bunch of games and, and stuff that's supposedly in the hack. and. Yeah, there might be information that comes out from this hack, and we'll cover it as it becomes relevant. But at this time, nothing from the Bandai Namco hack has actually been released publicly. So if you're seeing game lists and stuff like that, just know it's not real. So don't really have to pay it any never mind. So the Sega Genesis Mini 2, or the Master System Mini 2, whatever you would like to call it, has now had a public listing at Amazon with a release date of October 27th. Now this system was previously only confirmed for Japan, and now that it's appearing on Amazon US, it makes it feel like a reveal of it coming to you know North America is imminent. Now there is a game list. We don't know the entire game list yet. It's being updated. I'll link you to an article down below from Nintendo Life that goes over the currently known games in it. Right now I think there's about 20 something games known to be part of this. We know that Sega in the past has obviously released systems. This is their second of the mini classics. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what's on here in comparison to the first one. But yeah, the, the actual first Sega Genesis Mini Classic did really, really well uh, and was received really well and had some of the best emulation from these sort of miniature Sega Genesis consoles that have existed forever. Had really good emulation on the last one. So there's a lot of excitement around the second one as well. So yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. But I just wanted to let you guys know that it is available. You can actually go pre-order on Amazon right now, I think for $109 or something like that. I don't know if that price point is actually official. Don't know that the release date of October 27th is official, but uh, that's there and it's a thing and it's on Amazon. And uh, I expect an announcement probably by the end of this week. But you know what I am not expecting an announcement of? A Nintendo Direct. So we talked yesterday uh, about a story from Pierce Schneider last week where he said he had heard that there had been talks of a first party Nintendo Direct for this month. However, and he noted this, however, yeah, he wasn't really sure if that information was going to be true, aka these aren't like the most solid sources he's ever talked to. So what's interesting is, obviously, we just had Bayonetta 3 um, with a, a trailer drop and release date today. That was something people thought that we needed a Direct for. We also had the Kirby game yesterday, and also people sort of dismissed the Kirby game as mattering for a Direct because... 
Nintendo always randomly reveals these smaller Kirby games, so it really wasn't that shocking that that ended up being revealed in the way that it was. But Bayonetta 3 being unveiled in the way it was, the whole idea that it does look like we're going to get an announcement for Mario Kart 8 uh, DLC soon, it kind of feels like they might just social media drop DLC Wave 2. It's making people really doubt that there's going to be a Nintendo Direct this month. Now, I don't know if there will be a Nintendo Direct this month. I've never known. I predicted, I speculated that there would be, but I didn't have any actual information. And obviously we reported on Peter Snyder yesterday, but again, he wasn't even confident in the information he received either. So will there be a Nintendo Direct in July? The answer is still, I don't know. But I'm always about hyping responsibly and setting expectations. And at this point, I would suspect there will not be a first party Nintendo Direct this month. Maybe an indie world, I don't know. But setting the expectations, I think we should start to not expect that. And instead expect maybe more of these social media drops. And this might be Nintendo's plan all along for this summer. Is that they were going to do that third party Direct. And then they were going to take the first party stuff and just give you these social media drops. Now, that doesn't mean I don't expect any more directs the rest of this year we could still get a general nintendo direct in september and i absolutely expect a splatoon 3 direct next month remember we got a xenoblade chronicles 3 direct last month so i fully expect a, a, a splatoon 3 direct next month so i'm not saying we're not going to get directs i'm just saying that maybe the whole idea of nintendo replacing the june direct was actually just third party direct and Twitter drops, and that was Nintendo's plan this entire time. Now, obviously, we don't know if Nintendo's going to participate in E3 2023 at this point. We should know by the end of the year, because the ESA announced that they would actually have the exhibitor list and all that stuff um, announced by the end of this year, and Nintendo is on that list and going to be doing a booth like they have at every E3 that's ever existed. You could start to say it's pretty safe that Nintendo would be planning to do an E3 show next year, and maybe even the return of Nintendo Treehouse, which would be Nintendo Treehouse Live, which I think would be incredible. I almost think Treehouse Live is better than the E3 Directs. But anyways, uh, that's next year. Let's worry about this year and what's coming right now. Nintendo Slate is filling up quick. And we can't forget that Jeff Grubb is still out there as our other insiders saying, hey, we are getting that Metroid Prime remaster this year. But it feels like if they could drop Bayonetta on Twitter, they could drop that as well. So... I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Rubblejans from the Center Prime. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I'm going to catch each and every one of you in that next video.